Okay, so Creatures of Scenario has updated and in this video, we're going to be obtaining the brand new Easter boss creature and checking out the new update. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. You know, I, I literally didn't even notice, but they have added in update logs and you know, that is very good because you can now check on the previous updates and the most recent updates and see what they have actually added. And in this update, they have added an Easter egg dye ingredient minigame to Swamp. So there's a new minigame at the Swamp area. Momola redesign added. Okay, so the Momola got a redesign. We'll definitely check that out. And this looks like the new creature, Vorpalis, added as an Easter mission creature. And of course, new materials, palettes, plushies, and creatures added to the Easter event shop. But you know, what I'm most excited about is the brand new creature, of course. So if we go to Easter, as you can see, the Vorpalis. And these are, this is a event missions. So Easter is going to be ending in 13 days and 23 hours. So make sure you guys get all the creatures you guys want. But in this video, we are going to be focusing on getting the Vorpalus. Okay, so before we actually try and get the Vorpalus or Vorpalus, we are going to be checking out the event shop. So if we go to the event shop, as you can see, their Fabrashi is actually here now. The Buffalope was here last week. And look at the Buffalope. It did get a remodel. And look at all the new plushies. Okay, so there's a cat plushie. There's, uh, you know, new palettes. And the Fabrashi guys, honestly, I mean, if you guys have enough eggs and grind for it, it's a really good creature to get because look at this thing. It's like a lion. It's it's really cool. Okay, just look at this thing. All right, we just got to wait for it to load now. There we go. Look at that. This is the Fabrashi, and it's a large, so it's a tier four. Okay, so here is the Vorpalus, and or Vorpalus, Vorpalus, and let's view the missions on how to actually get it. Okay, so here it is. All right, so let's check out these missions. Complete the card match minigame 20 times. Okay, kill five large sized or bigger adult creatures as a terrestrial creature. Okay, grow five normal sized creature to age 100 and spin any gotcha five times. Okay, so the easiest one is spin any gotcha five times. That's pretty easy. And I feel like the hardest one will probably be grow five enormous sized creature because uh, I don't know if you can use tokens or not. You know like growth tokens to make this faster because um i know that uh you know enormous sized creatures take a while to grow i feel like that's the hardest one and um yeah i mean not bad at all okay so let's go ahead and do the easiest one which is spin any gotcha five times so let's go to the shop and let's go ahead and just you know just out of the shirt let, let's spin the carnivore gotcha we're gonna spin it five times all right there we go and let's see what we get. I mean, imagine I get the Vorpalus from this. That that would be hilarious. All right, Poly Monstrum. Oh my gosh, little Bobby. Every time I see the Poly Monstrum, that, that's what I think about. All right, there, there's the Magna Rothis. and there we go. All right, so now if we go to the Easter, yes, we have completed, uh, you know, one mission. All right, so let's go ahead and do the card match mini game now and spawn in. Hey, okay, there we go. We spawned in. Can we fly yet? Oh shoot. I forgot we can't fly until we're we're grown. Oh gosh. I totally forgot. I thought we could fly right off the bat. Look at look at the look at the Momola though. Oh my gosh. It's like a right now it's like a a little a little raptor. Okay, wait. Card match available now. Okay, we literally spawned at it. It's at the flower cove. Or I think there's actually multiple spots for it all around the map. Alright, so let's click on E and yeah we just got a match and i just got extremely lucky right there you know you just got a match and oh gosh this is actually a lot my memory is really bad so um 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 yeah my memory sucks okay uh wow we did that i, I thought okay there we go we got 45 eggs and we got to wait five minutes and we have to do it 20 times so according to my calculations it will take um more than an hour because we have to do it 20 times you know what i mean so i mean you know yeah it's gonna take a while i guess while we wait for that uh we can actually go kill five large uh you know go kill creatures as a terrestrial creature okay so we are going to be waiting for the card matching mini game and it should be ready right now but we are gonna have to kill five large sized or bigger adult creatures as a terrestrial creature and a terrestrial creature is basically any creature that um, walks on land or is a land creature. So no aquatics, no flying creature. Make sure you are a terrestrial creature, meaning a land creature. All right, guys, we are heading to the desert oasis where hopefully we'll find some, uh, you know, some uh, bigger creatures that are adult that we can kill. 
And you see that creature over there? I think that's the new creature, the Vorpalus. Look at it. Look at that over there. Wait, look at that thing. Oh my gosh. We reached it. Look at it. Holy cow, is that the Vorpalus? Yo, wait. That creature actually looks insane, especially with the skin they have on it. It looks like like a god. I'm gonna secretly um <laughs> kill this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Anybody killed this video? I, I am uh sorry, you know, but uh it has to be done. It has to be done. Sorry. Sorry, little guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Alright, um, there we go. Uh did that count? No. It didn't count? What? Wow, uh, I just murdered that guy for no reason. Um, why, why, why did that not count? It's literally a large sized creature that I just killed. And I'm fairly sure that was an adult too. And I am a terrestrial creature. What? A little puffy wumpy killed me while I'm doing it. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying, um, now we gotta wait another five minutes. Okay, so you can be killed while doing this. And also, while you're doing it, you do have a chance to actually get the Vor Vorpalus while you're doing it. Like, once you complete it, you have a chance to actually get the creature. So, you probably don't even have to do all of this. If you just keep doing the card matching minigame, um, you might actually have a chance just to get the Vorpalus. Which is, uh, you know, of course, it's going to be very hard. But, I mean, if you're extremely lucky, you can literally just get the Vorpalus. Okay, so if we go to our missions, as you can see, Vorpalus mission, and we also have to grow five enormous sized creatures to age 100, and the creatures I recommend to do that are these creatures. So if you go to view creatures, and again, honestly, it just depends on what creatures you have. So if you go to sort by tier five, these are all my tier fives, right? And the Saturday is probably one of the quickest growing creatures. It only takes 50 minutes to grow um, without buffs, by the way. So if you have two Eric plushies, It'll make you grow faster and of course if you get the um you know satiated uh in game you grow like 50 percent faster so um the value x grows pretty quickly takes 55 minutes saturday grows pretty quickly uh the mijusumia grows really quickly but it's really uh uh you know you i don't know if you guys are going to be able to get this creature again it just depends on what creatures you have the sigma tox takes 55 minutes to grow the crater is a pretty easy creature to get it takes an hour and the Celeritas takes also an hour. And of course, you know, it doesn't actually take an hour if you actually survive in game and get the buffs. So, it'll, you know, it'll make you grow way faster. And um, yeah, I mean, this creature takes an hour, five minutes. So all these creatures, they take about, you know, 50 minutes plus. And um, again, that, that's with no buffs. So yeah, let me show you guys what creature I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the Mijusumia since it's a lot easier to survive as. Since it does have invisibility, and it can also swim. So that is gonna make survival much easier. And first things first, if you wanna grow faster, you are gonna to want to put on Eric's plushies. And if you guys don't have Eric's plushies, then just don't put it on. Um, it'll still be pretty fast, but this is the fastest possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and put out our Eric's plushies. There we go. Look at that. We are now gonna be growing 20% faster, right? And there we go. Okay, so now we should be growing 20% faster. Look at that, minus 20%. And another buff that you guys actually could get is satiated. And satiated makes you grow 50% faster. So to get satiated, you're going to want to eat a dead person's carcass. Also, while you guys are growing, you can also come back every five minutes and do the card matching mini game. And, um, you know, we're going to hide our scent just so we can't be sniffed very quickly. So we have better regeneration and stuff. You know what I mean? Get all the boofs. And the, the mythic, uh, it is actually mythic right now, meaning that we grow, you know, 10 times faster too, or a 10% faster. And I, I honestly just recommend the Miju Sumia if you guys have it, because it can go invisible and it, that, that can literally save your life because there's a lot of bloodthirsty people going around killing you know doing this killing mission so you got to be careful oh yeah and i forgot to mention uh growth tokens don't work so if you use a growth token on your creature it is not going to work but there is a trick that you guys can do and i will show you guys once i get to 100 uh there is a trick that you guys can do so you actually don't have to grow this creature from baby all the way to 100 again okay there we go right there as you can see there is a dead person's carcass right there 
and it looks like it's a plant carcass okay so if we eat this we should get satiated right so if we eat it there we go and yes there we go we now have satiated which makes us grow 50 percent faster plus the 20 percent from the growth time from the eric's plushies and the mythic mythic boost so yeah we're we're gonna be growing very very quickly now and of course we're gonna go invisible uh well, while you guys are growing make sure to come and do your card matching mini game because every five minutes you can do it all right guys so here we are so if we go to missions as you can see we are now 100 percent so we are at 100 percent right now and we have one out of five so we got to grow five more of these nijusumias and there is actually a trick and let me show you guys that trick very quickly so i just gotta go find somebody to attack really quick just so that i can leave the game in log so um is there anybody i need to find people all right so uh okay there, there there's a uh, someone right there all right hello guys hello please please attack me or uh sure let me attack you guys all right i'm i'm, I'm not gonna kill them you know i'm just gonna attack them here we go I'm gonna attack them and then now i'm going to log so if i click on our my x it just close roblox so i literally just close roblox right there okay there we go we are loading back into the game and our Mijusumia, as you can see, you left in combat. Your slot 11 has growth has been reduced by 33 points. So, yeah. So, our Mijusumia is now back to, uh, you know, he's back to adult. So, which is okay. You know, that's exactly what I wanted. And there we go. Oh, yeah, guys. I think this is one of the new minigames right here. So, this right here, I think this is like the painting minigame or whatever. Um, what is this? Okay. Easter egg dying. Gives. Give die. You don't have all types of dye for the scrambler. You need blue, pink, and yellow. Oh, wait. Uh, how do I, how do I get dye? Okay, there we go. Look at that. We are now back at 100%. If you go to missions, as you can see, look at that. We are now two out of five. So that shows, uh, you know, I've just proven to you guys that it does work. So yeah, if you get to 100% as a creature by using no growth tokens, because growth tokens, again, if you guys use growth tokens, it just, it, it won't work towards this mission. So yeah, so you get 100%, you attack somebody, get in combat, and then you log, and then you come back as, uh, you know, an adult, and then you grow all the way back to 100. And yeah, that that's literally how you uh, do this mission. Well, that, that's the easiest way. And I'm going to be delivering this egg and hope that I get red dye. All right, there we go. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> we just got the gristle smog. Wait, wait, what? Wait, guys, we just got the gristle smog species. Um, I mean, I sure, I guess I was looking, I was thinking that that would give red dye, but I guess we just got extra, yeah. So that just proves to you guys that if you get extremely lucky, you can um actually get the vorpal species or the other, you know, this species from the egg, or yeah, this thing, yeah, yeah, well, whatever, whatever mini game that you have to do for that creature. You can get that creature. You have a really small chance to get the creature. This, this. All right. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Easter egg dying minigame. What do I get? Give die. Egg scrambler. Wait, what? Do I just pick an egg? What? I did all that for 30 eggs? Oh, heck no. Nah. I'm pretty sure it gives like other <laughs> other rewards. But I just picked the bad egg. And um, I got, uh, I got eggs. I got 30 eggs. Well, okay. Well, we know what that does now. While I was growing my Mijusumia off cam and doing the matching mini game, um, guys, look what happened. Um, yeah, the Scenario Gods has blessed me. Okay, so, um, guys, I guess we just got blessed by the Scenario Gods, and yeah, uh, while I was grinding off cam, I, I actually, actually, literally got the creature, and th that was my proof. And look at it, I have it. Yo, let's go. Okay, so I, I just got extremely lucky, and I was also really close to completing all the missions. But, um, yeah, guys, we got the creature, Vorpalus, and let's check out these stats. So it takes an hour to grow. It has 8,800 HP, 300 damage, and 6,500 pounds. And let's check out the passive effects. Here they are. Holy cow. Okay, so it blocks bleed, breath resistance, bleed attack, poison attack, injury attack, necro poison attack wing shredder and it has tail whip what the heck is tail whip and it has egg stealer face your tail to whip behind you oh okay okay but yeah look at it the vorpalus i can't wait to spawn in and showcase it all right guys so here is the vorpalus and it is enormous meaning it is a tier five 
and that that other person i saw they had a bunch of pallets and stuff on it and i just want to put materials on and just see what they would look like this is the void oh gosh that looks sick okay that's actually pretty sick let's try this one okay okay that, that's okay all right let's try this one oh look at that that looks sick all right let's try this one look at that and um, um this one whoa i don't even know how i got this material i think it was like a, a, maybe like a christmas one okay that looks pretty cool all right guys so we have spawned in as the vorpal and look at this thing guys honestly it, it really gives me that like legendary pokemon vibe i'm not even gonna lie i don't know why it just gives me like that pokemon vibe and it's like a legendary pokemon but uh yeah look at this thing you know tell me in the comments what pokemon do you think this thing looks like um but um yeah if you guys don't know this creature was actually a easter event boss in the previous easter events uh for from previous years and i don't remember exactly which one but uh yeah it was an easter boss and now it's actually like a creature so that is amazing and yeah look at this thing it gives me like a legend like i don't know like i said it gives me like legendary pokemon vibes and let's go ahead and actually give it a max growth token to just to see what it looks like when it's fully grown all right there we go fly and there we go we are now fully grown and look at how majestic it is again it is a tier five and look at this thing it is insane look at the attack it like it does like a tail whip look at that that is sick and if you, uh, you know, you look in front of you, it does like its front attack. And then you look behind you, it does the back attack. So yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> Yo, it is sick. And this is the running animation. And I, look at that. I just got the health trait. And if you guys don't know, I, there was a video where there was a comment asking, how do you actually get traits? Well, traits are pretty easy to get. You basically just get traits. Once you're fully grown, you just get traits. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out the Z animation. Look at this. That is sick. Its tail is huge, by the way. It's humongous. And then let's do the X animation. There we go. And then the N animation. Look at this. It is such a cool creature. And look at that. We just got the bite tray too. And let's do sitting animation. And then the sleeping animation. But I um, mean, yeah, guys, those are all the animations and this creature, I honestly think that it's it, it's going to be insane in PvP. You know, if you guys saw its passive effects or it's, you know, it's yeah, it's effects. It literally deals like everything. It does bleed attack, poison attack, necro poison attack, injury attack, uh, uh, wing shredder. It has a tail whip attack and it also has a front attack. And yeah, this thing is probably very good in PvP since it does have 8,000 health and it does 300 damage and i mean the weight is uh you know it, it's uh it's on the lower side but i mean it's already insane with those passive effects but um yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and um yeah i'll see you all in the next video so